Then the facade here, nothing has really changed. Is Tucked it's inside this historic stucco building sits decades of history and struggle from what was blocked from the outside world. It started out in 1926 as a Phoenix Colored School. You had um, black students and a small number of uh, Latino students, Latinas, at Phoenix Union High School District who were segregated within Phoenix Union High School District. Dr. Matthew Whitaker serves as the executive director for the nearly five acres of space. His admiration for the Carver Museum, or what was once the Phoenix School for the Colored, began early. I fell in love with Carver through research and um, by way of my mother moving here from Texas in 1958 and moving two blocks down the street from here. So I kind of always grew up with Carver. This is the history of George Washington Carver himself. The walls are now lined with what once was, from the reality and pain of segregation. This was a protest in 1964, right, um, before the passage of the Civil Rights Act. To the inventive minds born here, and how those ideas have been weaved into modern America. We got a, a gentleman who invented the Viewmaster, which has led to all sorts of technologies, right, for the video games and what have you. He was a student right here in this building. The outside world was harsh, perhaps one of the reasons a former principal pushed to have only the best in education for his students. It's one of the things that was pretty controversial uh, when one of the principals, W.A. Robinson, insisted that all of the teachers had master's degrees. And of course, this is at a time when most white teachers didn't have master's degrees. The school housed teachers with Ivy League degrees, a fencing team, debate, on all accords. In today's standards, it would be labeled a private school with a wait list and a nice price tag. What's your fondest memory in this gym? Just enjoying the game. Dr. Frederick Warren remembers those days. You spent four years within this building. Yes. What are your fondest memories? Uh, probably all of them. It's a connection he wants others to experience through the growth of the center. It comes with time and in a perfect world, 10 to $20 million, a price that pales in comparison to the history within these walls. History is a people's memory, and without it, we're rudderless.